that's kept us in the running to win the championship, um, giving the girls a lot of encouragement going forward. You know, beating the world champs is a huge task, and, and, then, and we've done it. Um, great for the young ones coming in to experience that win. They're, they can now see that they're beatable, um, so now we need to focus on and go forward and try and beat Wales. I think Wales have got a, t a different team this time round, so I think you know we're going to have to clear our minds from that warm-up game and just focus on how they're doing now. Um, you know, and really put it up to them. Wales love to slow us down and love to slow down the ruck area. So if we can take care of that and get fast board away, then we should be okay. There's a couple of new caps in the squad this uh, this season. Have they come to you for advice? Um, yeah, a couple of them have. I mean, I've, I've been rooming with Katie Fitzhenry for the last few weeks, and uh, you know she's from Black Rock, so it's great. And we've got a few um, Sini who's been around as well, and so. Yeah, I get to chat with them quite a bit. I try and offer them as much help as I can without being too pushy. Um, but yeah, they know. I think the girls know that I'm around and there to help them. Um, well, I came from a GAA background. I used to play Dublin or football with the Dublin ladies team. Um, and from there, I kind of joined Old Belvedere Rugby Club just to see what rugby was about from a friend who asked me to come down and... Um, then I got called into the Sevens Talent Identification Squad back last February um, and was given an opportunity to show what I can do and thankfully got accepted into that um, programme. And from there then Sevens were given an opportunity to try out for the 15s camp in December and I went along hoping to gain some experience and not really um, expecting much out of it apart from learning new things but I got accepted into the squad for 15s and uh, I'm just delighted to be here. Yeah definitely like sevens allows you to focus much more on like your individual skills in terms of your passing has to be a lot better and therefore you work on a lot more and your one-on-one -on -one tackling um, is so much more important than sevens and it allows you then in 15s to be a lot more confident in your game and uh, your rooking has to be a lot more dominant um, and therefore transferring it into the game it allows you to be more stronger um, and I, I just think sevens is fantastic for improving your individual skills. So you have two caps for Irish 15s rugby. Um, the more experienced uh, players, are you getting lots of advice from them? Oh yeah, it's great to have the experienced players around. You know, they've been here and done it all before and uh, any questions or anything that I have, the likes of Tanya and Nora and uh, Briggsy have been there to answer them and help me settle nerves. And they're just fantastic to have around because they're the epitome of calm um, and they, they've been here before and they know exactly what they're doing. Are you enjoying the whole international experience? Yeah, I am. Like, you know, it's, it's a different setup to Sevens in some ways, but uh, it's fantastic um, just to be given the chance to play for Ireland, like, and to wear the jersey. You know, it, it's so, I'm so honoured, like, and I'm just so happy to be here.